Hey WWE Universe, welcome to Z Planet, it's your girl Z, and I'm doing a recap on tonight's WWE Survivor Series. I have to apologize on my prediction video, it was very rushed, and I messed up names as usual, that's nothing new, and missed matches, and whatever, whatever, so... I'm going to do something a little bit different and do a recap video where I'll just go over Survivor Series and um, give my opinion on how I felt things went. And as you see in the background, I'm watching the replay, or I have the replay going in the background. I'm not really watching it, but I got the replay going in the background. Anyways, um, let's start off with the main show, uh, which were the, the women kicked it off. And I think it went so fast, I don't remember what my predictions were, but I think I said that SmackDown will win. I think I said SmackDown will win. And I was wrong, Raw took it with Bailey having the final pin on Becky Lynch and then Bailey getting attacked by Charlotte so we know who's going for the belt next and I don't think Bailey's going to get it from Charlotte as a matter of fact I also think Nia Jax should go for the belt next but because right now Charlotte made sure to have Nia Jax on her side kind of as her she's almost trying to make her like her sidekick slash friend type thing so she doesn't come for the belt yet that's not going to stick with Nia Jax very long, Nia Jax wants that belt so she's going to come for it but uh, I think they're going to allow Bailey to get her run first um, the next match was the Intercontinental Championship belt between Sami Zayn and The Miz uh, with the Miz winning after Sami Zayn thinking he won the belt even though you know when Maurice hit the bell he stopped thinking he won which was strange because it's not like his music came on right afterwards like he usually does and for some odd reason he didn't hear the ref yelling at his ear even though he was this close to it um, but after he started his semi celebration of his non-existent win The Miz since he was distracted uh, did some rollover pin on him which actually took him out and The Miz maintained the belt so me honestly I believe if that's all it took to pin Sami Zayn then he doesn't need the belt anyway but I leave Sami Zayn in limbo for a second because of how that ended, I'm pretty sure he's going to get his rematch. So, we'll see how that ends up. Eventually, I do think they'll give the belt to him because they need to do something with him. He's just kind of there. Um, after that match ended, it was the tag team, which is what's on right now. It was the tag team. Ten on ten elimination match, and it was pretty good to watch. Um, of course, I was upset that of the raw team, my boys, the new day were the first to go, but instead of the shining stars, but that's all right. Um, raw took it with Cesaro and. Sheamus, and I do believe if anybody's going to get the belt away from the New Day, it's going to be Cesaro and Sheamus. Um, they were in the final with the Usos, and the Usos were wrecking folks, but it wasn't enough. So, sorry for SmackDown. Raw took another one. Oh, right after that was the Cruiserweight Championship, and during my pre my my prediction video. I said Sankara, like I said, I said wrong names, I was Russian, but I meant 
um, Kalisto. And I really thought Kalisto would have won. And he had a pretty good chance there um, until Corbin <laughs> came in and treated him like a rag doll. As he keeps doing that, it's just the oddest few going on right now. Kalisto, Kalisto and uh, Baron Corbin, I, I don't know really what that's about. I mean, even after the match when they talked to Baron Corbin and he was saying how he was just an annoying little rat over uh, uh, here I go with bad names Brian I almost want to say Brian Kendrick but it's not Brian, Brian Kendrick it's um oh gosh you guys know who Why am I so bad with names? And his name of all. Daniel. Daniel Bryan. But, um, I'm not good with names. Um, that was definitely what Baron Corbin said. That was definitely directed towards, um, Daniel Bryan. So we'll see what happens between those two. Even though Daniel's not supposed to be wrestling anymore. We have to see. Um, all the new days about to get eliminated. Thanks to the Usos. Ugh. I mean, I like the Usos, but it, why did it have to be them to eliminate New Day? All right. Um, back to the Cruiserweight Championship. Sorry. Oh, I did finish that. Yeah. Brian Kendrick won. Okay. Then it was the men's turn. And SmackDown took it. It ended up being the White Family against the Shield at the end. And the White Family just, they overpowered Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. And, uh, it was both of them, Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt at the end, taking out Roman Reigns. I'm trying to think who I was surprised at. Apparently I wasn't because I can't think of anything. I don't know. That just seemed right for SmackDown to take one, at least, right? So they got that. And then... Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. What was that? And why was it only like two minutes long? You had Brock Lesnar show, show Goldberg. I can tell you how it went real quick. Goldberg got shoved into the corner by Brock Lesnar. And then Goldberg killed Brock Lesnar. And it was over. It was so quick and ridiculous. So if, if WWE was going for the shock and all, they definitely got it with that match. So, a um, couple of pointers that happened tonight that I thought was pretty cool. We did get to see the reunion of the Shield after the attack. Um, Oh, wait, let me rewind before I start talking about that. I do hope Shane is okay. <laughs> Roman uh, probably had him cause a concussion tonight. I mean, he was out of it after getting speared straight in the air. So, But I hope he's all right. Um, I haven't read anything or heard anything as far as his well-being. But I'm pretty sure he'll be okay. And... As far as the shield goes, I really think that Dean Ambrose will probably be leaving SmackDown, and I think they are going to reunite. I really thought um, Kalisto was going to win tonight because I think the Cruiserweight going over to SmackDown would probably be best for business. <laughs> and. They, they might end up getting a rematch 
for that chance again because of Baron stepping in and messing that match up. So, I don't know. I think the Cruiserweight being on SmackDown would be better. For SmackDown, they could really use the boost right now. Um, I already gave my predictions on who's going for the belts. And as far as Brock Lesnar and Goldberg goes, I know everybody has their kryptonite. Somebody that people wouldn't think that somebody would lose to, that's who they lose to, simply because that's just somebody that they can't quite grasp their style or something. And sometimes it's not even about strength, even though, don't get me wrong, Goldberg is extremely strong. Uh, but there's something that Brock can't quite grasp with Goldberg, and he can't beat him. But I don't think Brock is going to let it go like that. I mean, he was embarrassed. <laughs> and I, I don't think Brock accepts what just happened to him. I think he's going to want to get Goldberg back in that ring again. Whether Goldberg will do it or not, I hope so. But I don't know. I mean, he's 2-0 against Brock right now. He doesn't have anything to prove. He did what he came to do. And I think he's done. Maybe. He said that Brock would be last, but he didn't say that would be his last match. So he could fight Brock again. It's technically still makes Brock last, right? So we'll see how that goes too. Um I think that's about it. I mean as far as what I see is gonna come with this for the future. Um sorry y'all give me a second. I don't know off the top of my head what the next pay-per-view is. We are in November. So we got another one before the Royal Rumble. And just to let y'all know, the Royal Rumble is by far my favorite pay-per-view. Um, I know a lot of people it's WrestleMania or SummerSlam. Mine is Royal Rumble. And I do like the Survivor Series. I like Elimination Chamber. Like elimination. It's not called Elimination Chamber. It's called Elimination. I like it so much. I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, sorry. Um, the next pay per view. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm about to go as far as telling y'all who I think is. No, I'm not going to have all the matches. All right, we have. Oh, that's right. It's Roblox. That's right. They showed the. Wait, is it? Because I could have sworn we were watching. They showed the. Uh, commercial for Roblox. But there was a Roblox back in March. Pay back. Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules is awesome too. Money in the Bank. Battleground. Some stand back last year. There's no mercy. Awesome. Survivor Series. Mmm. TLC is next. But I could have sworn we saw the roadblock. Because it says TLC is December 4th. That would be the SmackDown one. What do y'all think about Randy Orton being part of the White family? I pause.
just like I was waiting for an answer. I think he, me and my husband, my husband said this before me, but we think it's a keep your enemies closer type deal. He doesn't, Randy Orton has never been a follower. And to be part of the Wyatt family, you're pretty much following Bray Wyatt. So he's infiltrating the system of Bray Wyatt. They're going to fall out and Randy Orton is basically going to kill Bray Wyatt. I don't know if he's going to destroy the Wyatt family from within. And that's his whole goal, which would be pretty dang cool. Or if he's going to take it over. But he's definitely... doing this with bigger plans. He, his goal, well, we're talking about Randy Orton, his goal is not just to be part of the Wyatt family or any group. That's just not him. So, destroy or take over? I don't know. But we will soon see. So, with that being said, TLC is December 4th, so you guys will probably see me on December 4th, <coughs> hopefully before that, and then we got Roadblock December 18th, which is for the Raw brand, and then my Royal Rumble is January 29th, that's so far away, but I don't know. I might have some sort of crazy event going on while I do my video because that's how excited I get for Royal Rumble. It'd be awesome if I could do something from Royal Rumble. Where is it? San Antonio, Texas. I am so far from San Antonio, Texas and there's no way. I'm pretty sure they're sold out. I don't have nothing needed to get there or whatever. But I'll be there in my spirit in this little room watching that screen for sure. So, on that note, am I team Nia Jax? For sure. Do I think Nia Jax is going to get that belt? For sure. Who do I think is going to get a belt for uh, the women's SmackDown next? Alexa Bliss. And on that note, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you for joining Planet C in this big old universe of WWE. And until next time, deuces.